for KP. How difficult is it, knowing the situation you guys are in, to come out and give it 100%? No, we tried, to be honest. We tried. I think we'd still, even with knowing that, you know, we still came out a little bit like uh, not, not like playoff intensity. Like, or, or the same intensity that the Knicks had today. Um, it's, it, it's tough. We cannot like trick ourselves into that kind of mode. You know, it's just it's it's, it's real. Realistically, it's very tough. Uh, but later, we did turn it up as we felt a little bit like, okay, this is this is not who we are. Obviously, you know. But uh, but uh, they, they had a, they, they they really showed up today, and. Um, and we just didn't. We didn't. Uh, we, we, you know, it stings to have this loss because, you know. But maybe we need this right before the, you know, um, you know, we have a couple game, more games left. But, but um, uh, before we uh, uh, head into the postseason, you know, uh, as Joe said in the post game, like if we win this game again, I don't know, maybe blow them out or something. You know, Maybe feel too good about ourselves. You never know what's the best, uh, you know, uh, mindset to have right now. And I think uh, we have to take this as just uh, 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 like kicking our, you know, ass and come on, let's go, let's turn up, let's have good practices, good games, finish strong, and and head into the postseason with like killer mentality. Chris Tapps, Derek got the R back award, and uh, he's just known for making like little winning plays. I'm curious, what's your favorite play that you've seen Derek make? Season. Good question. I think uh, maybe opening opening game against Miami. It was um, chase down block on uh, Jimmy. It was I think two chase down blocks on Jimmy in that game. And I was like, man, how did he even like make it there? And then it's kind of like maybe borderline foul, but. Just remembering that situation, I was like, D. White doesn't give up on any play. Like, and this is the type of guy you want on your, your team that's gonna give all on on every possession. And and, uh, and that was, I would say, that was my favorite moment. Thanks. Joe was saying, uh, you guys obviously punched a while ago, right? And right. He said for a while you guys were maintaining that intensity, and it was there, and it did slip a little these past few games. It's just a matter of it's harder to maintain it. You're obviously playing a couple teams that have a lot to play for and their levels probably raised up. Like what, what difference did you see these past couple of games? Yeah, it's that it's it's just I would say human nature, no, in a in a way. Um, uh, yeah it's it's it is what it is. It is what it is, no, it's it's not who we are, obviously. This is not, you know, we, we got booed at the end for a reason, you know. This is not the, the fans, this is not the team that our fans love, you know. This this wasn't that display, but best believe we're going to show up when, when we need to. And and uh, we have a week of work now ahead of us in, in a couple of games um, to bounce back and uh, and get 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 going on all, all cylinders because we know what the goal is and, and make no mistake about that. Christophs, I think from the outside, many fans are worried that you're going to fall into some bad habits, right? People who aren't around the team all the time, they see this and it's the most recent thing in their mind. What can you say to people who are worried about, like, that this is going to be the way you start the playoffs versus leaning on the stuff that got you the 60-plus wins? Maybe we will. Maybe we'll get our ass kicked again one more time and start the series. Who knows? And then we're then it's a wake up call for us. But most likely, if I had to bet, I would say we'll show up at the level that we need to show up. Uh, but it's 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 uh, it's on us. It's on us. And and um, as I said, I don't think it's um we it's, it's it's yeah. I don't I don't think it's a habit for us. You know, it's just to be honest. Once we turned up, they were still making shots. They were still like, man, it was just one of those games for them and one of those games for us, to be honest, even when the intensity was like evened out. So, and usually when, when, when we even out the intensity, we always have the advantage and we start building. But tonight was just wasn't our night on, on, you know, on any of those aspects. So uh, that, the, we got the result. But the second, second unit was, was on fire, you know, and got us back and, and, and at least gave some like positivity to the crowd at the end of the game. But uh, again, uh, I would say no chance we, we 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 don't turn up as the team that the fans love on the first playoff game.
final do question you, for Chris Epps. Do you like playing with these high expectations? I do, to be honest. I do, and, and, and I love it. You know, you always see me like I'm waving at the crowd, like pumping my fist in the air. Like, I just, I, I, I don't know, I, I love this, like, uh, I love the passion that the fans have. I love this, like, pressure on us and playing for this, like, historic franchise and uh, having these expectations and, 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 and then being, like, and being on this big stage and then seeing if you could bring it. This, this is what I really love and really enjoy. So, cannot wait for us to, to start the postseason. Okay, One more, Jared. Drew got his extension today. Just what has he meant to this team and how happy are you to see him win? Yeah, Drew's the man. Everybody loved him in his locker room from day one. Showed up selfless, uh, giving everything, everything to the team. Well deserved extension. Uh, happy that he's going to be around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.